Selco Foundation's program provides decentralized and resilient energy systems to at least 100 public health sub-centers in Meghalaya, pivoting a population of 3 lakh individuals towards better healthcare. of uh, National Health Mission team uh, here at the state, uh, we would like uh, to thank uh, Selco Foundation for the initiative of taking, uh, you know, to solar powered all our sub-centers. Uh, it is a big project, uh, we know that, and it is a very essential thing that uh, our sub-centers need some kind of energy which is sustainable. In our district, uh, the Selco Foundation did the power installation for around 10 sub-centers mostly under our own CFC. We are very grateful to Selco Foundation. And with those power installation, our subcenters, to some extent, they can work conveniently because without the light, it's very difficult. What we have seen from our implementation uh, with the key stakeholders in Meghalaya that have championed the program uh, is its impact on health uh, and really how energy catalyzes different health outcomes if implemented in a manner which includes stakeholders which actually manage and run the health centers. In terms of benefits of having you know, a consistent energy flow into the health systems, it's so important because the public services which we actually uh, give, it may be uh, PDS, it may be Anavadi Center, it may be health services or anything, it needs to have a certain level of consistency. This consistency will give a certain level of predictability and predictability at the level of community is so important in building their confidence in the system. And giving that electricity means that any time I go to the center, there will be electricity available, there is an AM available and she can actually save my life or my child's life or any other emergency sake, it will be available. That will build the confidence in the system. In that sense, this uh, CELCO's uh, collaboration with the government of Meghalaya to put up solar panels and solar energy efficient equipments at the sub-center levels as of today is, it will go a very long way in building that confidence in the health system. Rural health infrastructure like primary health centers and sub-centers is a critical link in achieving the health outcomes envisaged in the National Health Mission. Achieving energy self-reliance through solarization becomes even more crucial for essential services like health in the context of accelerating climate crisis and uncertainties around extreme weather events. And as you know that Meghalaya is a hilly state uh, with the tough terrain, especially during rainy season, it's very difficult to get a sustainable power supply even in the cities. So rural areas are almost disconnected and they get only like four to five hours of power supply. So to uh, ensure that these issues should not occur, uh, state government as well as district administration tied up with few of the NGOs initially. They had uh, ensured that solar electrification is done on a phased manner. Uh, so far, they have done for 10 sub center. So these, you know, basic equipments along with the sustainable power supply in the sub center is ensuring that our healthcare workers at least stay in those sub centers. So after they stay in those sub centers, people from nearby area they have got some confidence in the health sector. Selco Foundation, bagla ayengi ya kene ka solar energy, pingla lawat penangkam, ha kene ka jakatri jengi. Pot siao ngo o pot iyo o gini giti a kita, kibo kam ka godres yong ka fridge, ndem te o gini ki radian woma, o gito ki suction, o gini ki fan. Iyo a kusubun ki machine, ha o bayade o kapan kendok ya ki dari dari si e. The association with Selco uh, has been uh, now for quite some years. We have worked on various sectors, uh, but uh, now the focus has been uh, on uh, sub centers, uh, 100 across Meghalaya, and here also more than 10 sub centers have benefited in East Garovils uh, with the collaboration of Selco. Now I am happy that uh, nearly 21. Out of 31 sub-centers, they are doing institution deliveries and the institution delivery of East Carvels over the last three years has gone up from 30% to uh, 55%. There's still a long way to go. 
In terms of taking this forward, we have already uh, planned up with Selco Foundation and the state is very enthusiastic about extending this to all the sub-centers point first of all and we would like to see that every health center is sustained and self-sustaining in its own way in terms of power so that there is no dependency on external factors as well as we can have a very efficient system of monitoring them so that the maintenance of these systems are consistent we would like to have a helpline kind of a system where there is a system put for operations and maintenance Recently, uh, to make it sustainable, uh, we also, with the help of Selco and uh, some people, some officials who came and conducted training. So recently they have been trained and I hope with that training, uh, this whole thing will be much more efficient. We are very honoured to have partnered with Government of Meghalaya in this exciting programme to solar power 100 sub-centres in the state which can then be a model for rest of the country to replicate and how using solar energy we are able to democratize the delivery of health to the last mile people thus making solar energy as a beacon of light for everybody. Thank you.